Good morning, you beautiful people. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. Welcome to another episode of How to Play, uh, a series in which I tell you how to play a certain game type in Call of Duty. Today, we're talking about Hardpoint. Hardpoint is one of those games where it's a really fun game if you're in a party and that is going to be my first tip for you guys uh, today please 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 play in a party if you do not play in a party you are going to have a very hard time winning this game by yourself backing up here a little bit in order to score a point in a hard point you must be in the designated area of the hard point it does not matter if you have one person or all six people in the hard point, you are still only going to earn one point, one point per second. This means having one person be the body inside the hard point hiding while the other five defending them and taking their place if they ever die is a very valuable strategy. Hard point is all about map control, uh, except it's a little bit more dynamic and mobile than, say, domination and momentum. You know, it's not about one specific side of the map, it's about every single hard point on the map. Luckily, the hard points rotate every, I believe, one minute, and they will go to designated spots in the same rotation. So, obviously, a good point uh, in hard point to have is knowing exactly where the hard point is going to pop up next. This comes with game time as well as paying attention. Every time a hard point changes, make sure you know where it was and where it's going to be. And this is where the strategy begins. If you are very much winning in hardpoint, if it's obvious you got a good team, you guys are ahead by a lot, then you are going to want to kind of fall back on the current hardpoint when it gets around, I would say like 30 seconds, 15 seconds, somewhere in there you want to pull back, not really worry about having every single point in that hardpoint anymore, and going to get other map control where the next hardpoint is going to be. And you can see why having a team is going to be a lot easier, you're going to have half of the team kind of stay there, kind of milk whatever points are left in this hard point, which is all good. And then you're going to want the other half to kind of go get the map control across the map, kind of clear out the spawns, and then regain that hard point, that map control. And this is the fun aspect about hard point. These spawns are not locked like they are in demolition or like they are in momentum. You can actually push and get map control, you know, ideally speaking, of course, not in advanced warfare, but you know what I mean. Uh, get that map control and control that hard point. And then about midway through, like I said, you go change, you go give them that map control, go take map control wherever the next hard point is going to be. And that is how you stay above the enemy. That's how you stay one step ahead of them. And you're already there, captured the hard point. Uh, whenever it changes. If however you are losing hardpoint, you don't have such a good team, it comes to uh, the point where you have to make a decision. You have to decide, I am going to fight all I can for this one hardpoint for the 15 seconds that I can get out of it uh, when the enemy is pulling back and everything, or am I just going to abandon that hardpoint and try again at the next one? Playing solo, I can honestly say the second option is usually the option I'm ta I'll take. I'm not sure if that's good or bad, but I always like starting fresh. I always like being on the hard point first. I can usually pick off the one or two people who are trying to be there. I can be in it for the first five seconds or so, and hopefully I can hold off the enemies enough for my teammates to kind of come swarm around me and we can get some points generated there. And that's really the overall strategy of Hardpoint. I really enjoy Hardpoint. Uh, I really enjoyed Drop Zone from Modern Warfare 3, and that's essentially what Hardpoint is. It's a little bit uh, less structured, or I'm sorry, more structured and less, uh, I don't know, random, because with Drop Zone, you would have those care packages that would drop down whenever you're in the Hardpoint or the Drop Zone, and uh, I, I thought that was pretty fun. I think that's a, that's a cool game mode, and you know, Hardpoint's a little bit... Uh, I don't know, more boring if you want to call it that in the sense that it's not like a random loot every, what, like 10 seconds or something. But it is a very good 
competitive game mode and if you're playing it with a couple friends then uh, it's definitely super fun to play. I'm also going to mention that this is basically headquarters uh, with respawns. Uh, well, actually it's a little bit different. I kind of want to do a video on headquarters on how to play that because that was that was such a key game mode in previous Call of Duties that we just haven't had for the past couple ones. I don't understand uh, why. It was super fun. It was just like Hardpoint but the stakes were a little bit higher and uh, the points were a little bit more random. So uh, write down in the comment section below, do you guys want to see how to play headquarters? Do you think we're going to get that in the next Call of Duty or any Call of Duty? So uh, I hope so. I really hope we get that and Demolition back. Those are my those are my two favorite game modes, especially Black Ops 1. That was that was how you ranked up. But anyway, that's my strategy for Hardpoint. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Leave a comment in the comment section below. Which game mode do you want me to cover next? I believe I've already done Momentum and Domination. I'm thinking about doing Kill Confirmed or Team Deathmatch next just because those are so basic. But anyway, thank you guys so much again for watching. Until the next absolutely beautiful Call of Duty morning. I'll catch up with you guys later. And as always, have a great day.